Yo, what's up guys, Mike Red Fox. In this video, we're gonna do a head-to-head -head mining on an FPGA versus some GPUs. Okay, let's get started. Over in this corner is a Xilinx Varium C1100 FPGA, and over here I have 123070s. Now, an FPGA, if you're not familiar, stands for Field Programmable Gate Array. If you think about it, it sits kind of in between like a GPU and an ASIC. If you think about a GPU as like the jack of all trades combined to all the cryptocurrency algorithms, yet nowhere near as efficiently as an ASIC on the same algorithm. If you think about an ASIC, like the master of one thing, it can mine one cryptocurrency algorithm extremely well and just puts any GPU to shame on that algorithm. FPGA is in the middle. It's way more efficient than a GPU, not as efficient as an ASIC, but the benefit it has is that it can be reprogrammed to mine different algorithms, though you are at the mercy of Bitstream developers creating a Bitstream so it can mine said algorithm. And in this case, the team Red Miner team has created a bitstream for Caspa, which is what we're mining today. I've been mining it for quite a while and it does extremely well on this FPGA. And what I thought would be fun to do is get a baseline reading for the amazing results it gets on the FPGA on Caspa and just see how many 3070s it takes to hit that same hash rate and then compare power usage. FPGA is up in mining. You can see the results on your screen right now. Mining Caspa at 4.552 giga hash per second at 130 watts. And that wattage is accurate looking at the inline meter over PCIe here, which is reading that same 130 watts. The only thing it doesn't include is this external fan, which is running at 100% to keep this FPGA very cool and performing the best it absolutely can. Now, just in case you have one of these things at home, here's the settings for mining Caspa to the same efficiency that I'm able to achieve. This is what you would need to enter into HiveOS for Team Red Miner. Every card is different, but this will get you started and in a really good place. Now, on the other side, we have a single 3070 mining right now, and you can see using Law Miner, the results on your screen, coming in at 503.61 mega hash for 59.2 watts. So if you're fast and you want to pause here, you can already do the math to see how many 3070s it's going to take to match the hash rate of this FPGA. But if we just stopped here, that wouldn't be much fun. And I don't know what I would do the rest of this video. So what we're going to do is add a few more 3070s and see how many it's going to take to match the hash rate of this FPGA up to five GPUs and you can see the results right here on the screen. We're coming in at 2.518 giga hash, which is still nowhere close to the reminder of the 4.553 giga hash, a single FPGA is getting us at 130 watts. And to see the wattage right now, just the GPUs are pulling, we're at 318.7 watts. So right now we're a little over halfway to matching the hash rate but more than double the wattage in just GPUs versus this FPGA. Let's add some more GPUs. We're up to nine GPUs now, and we're hitting 4.532 giga hash across this mining rig, which gets us, we'll say, right at what this FPGA is doing. Again, at 4.553 giga hash, though we're at 130 watts for the FPGA, and we are at 598, we'll just say 600 watts for this nine GPU currently mining rig to do the same exact hash rate as the FPGA. Really cool to see. So let me power this fan down so I can hear myself talk and we'll wrap up this video. As you can see, this FPGA is a crazy cool little device that mines, in this case, Caspa way more efficient than any GPU that's currently out there. And if you want to learn a little bit more, you can head over to the Team Red Miner GitHub where they have all the information about FPGA mining and the available algorithms, which is going to be Edhash and Caspa. The one thing you want to keep in mind, and we'll get into this in a second, is that the developer fee is 10%. 
So make sure you take that into account for any profit calculations that you might be looking at based on the results you saw. You wanna take that 10% off plus the pool fee off, and then you'll get your baseline for how much this FPGA is making. Now, why is it 10%? Mike, that seems crazy high. Well, that's part of the work in creating bit streams for FPGAs. And in this case, the team Red Miner developers have created a public bit stream available to everybody who can mine on an FPGA with Caspa. And this is where we get into like the shady underworld of FPGA mining because developers can create and do create private bit streams as well, which they then maybe sell to mining farms and are kept private. So you could have an FPGA mining farm out there with a bitstream for a cryptocurrency and never know about it because it was created as part of an agreement where they paid a developer to create a bitstream and sold to them and they cannot release it to the public. That's just one example of some of the things that happen behind the scenes with FPGAs, which is why for Team Red Miner's sake, they're the only ones who release a public bitstream, to my knowledge, for Caspa, so they can charge that higher fee to get paid for their work when there's no competition. And if you want to get one of these FPGAs, you can do that if you head over to Xilinx's website. And since AMD, I guess, bought Xilinx since I first got my FPGA, you can buy online from AMD. You can see the lead time is 16 weeks, and you see that current price coming up just under $2,400. I had to wait quite a while when I got mine too and I ordered it right when they first came out and I'm really glad I got it. But times are different now and you can't mine Ethereum with it anymore. One thing I noticed is that if you add it to your cart, it comes in at a much cheaper price, $1,539. So I'm not really sure what that's about, but I guess if you're looking to get one and you see what you get charged, let me know down in the comment section below. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is a fun one, just putting an FPGA head-to-head -head versus some 3070s. Give the video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Join my Discord if you want to chat. Links down in the description below along with all my social media links. Sub to the channel. If you like this kind of stuff, you want to see some more FPGA or GPU mining or maybe some ASIC mining and just crypto-related content in general. And as always, please take care of yourself, take care of each other, and I'll see you in the next video.